this is Dina. Welcome to my channel. I am back this afternoon with a little bit of a, um, well, it could be Christmas in July, but I'm putting these in my craft fair. So I am using these two um, signs that I have in my stash, and they have the jute on them. I think that I got them a long time ago, like at the Target dollar spot or one spot or bullseye spot, whatever it's called now. And so I thought what I would do is make a snowman out of these. Now, this isn't my original idea. I happened to see this on Pinterest and someone had used, um, had put, had made something like, used something like this and they made a snowman head out of it. And I thought, what a cute idea um, to use for my craft fair. And I have had these in my stash for quite a little bit. So I thought I would just bring you along with me while I'm working on these. Now, I am using for the snowman's mouth and eyes, I'm using buttons that I got at Hobby Lobby. There's the brand. Now get this, cause y'all know prices change up there. And they had the same pack they had only two of them that said $5.99. And then they had the rest of them say $6.99. Same package and everything. So I grabbed the two packs. Y'all, I grabbed two packs of these kind of buttons. And I grabbed one other little pack of white buttons. And this right here. That's all I all I went in there. I walked the whole store. Hell, I couldn't find anything else in there. I like they've taken away so much. It makes me sad. Now, granted, I'm sure they're going to come back with, they're going to bring in like more really cool stuff and all that. So Hobby Lobby won't be out of question or anything to go to. You'll still be able to find things that you need. But I told the guy, I said, I've walked this whole store and this is all I can buy. I have never went in there and only spent $6.49. Ever, ever. I don't think I've ever had a bill that small. And so, anyway, I, um, these were $5.99, but they ended up being on sale. And so, yeah, it was, uh, I spent $6.49. So, anyway, I got two packs in case there wasn't enough larger ones if I wanted to do yard larger. So, I've already opened one up. So, what I want to do is I just want to make, like, I want to use this for my nose, okay? And I'm going to cut like triangle for my nose. And I think I might make two of these at one time and so forth, because this is gonna be really simple. Um, so anyway, I think I'll do um, two of these at one time. And let me see if I can grab my pen or my pencil here. And I'm just gonna kind of guesstimate how long I want it. It might be just like this, see? I think that that's gonna be enough. Let me cut this and let's see what that looks like. I was gonna cut this all out in vinyl, but then I thought, you know what? I'm gonna try to use different textures and not everybody has vinyl. So we'll see how this is going to look. So I think I'm gonna use, oh yeah, I think that that's going to be just a perfect size there. So I'm gonna go ahead and might as well cut out another one here. And I'm just gonna kind of trace this one or cut this one, just like this. Okay, that way I can make two of these at once. Now I thought I had more of these um, in my stash, but I don't evidently. So, so my nose is gonna go off. I think I might ink the edges of my nose Okay, but before I put on the face, I want to put on like a little scarf. Now I'm going to do one with this black and white plaid the, um, ribbon that I have in my stash. And I also, I actually straightened up my closet on Sunday and um, I found I had two of these in my stash. I might have another one because there was one little thing I didn't clean out. But um, yeah, I'm thinking I might have another one. But anyway, I've had these in my stash for a long time. So anyway, so I'm gonna, keep, I think I'll do one in black and white and one in red and white. This is wired ribbon. I think it's gonna be fine. But I think the best thing to do before I put the face is go ahead and add my ribbon. It's gonna go around, it's gonna make it look like a scarf. Okay, so 
So let me get this out as far as I need it. And, okay, and sorry about that. Let me get you down a little more here. Okay, so I think that is going to be cute. This is going to be so simple. Okay, I'm gonna cut. And I'm gonna just measure it. I wanna put my knot over here on the side to make it look like, um, like it's going to look like a scarf going on. But I think I, before I put tie this on, I want to add some glue on the back. Um, let me see, I'm gonna keep this laid down. Or actually, I think I'll do it like this. I wanna keep this in the place where I have it and I'm gonna turn it over. That way then I can add glue right here. I've got my hot glue, and let me see here, get my glue glue stick in there, and I'm going to just kind of lift this up just a little bit, and I'm just going to add my glue under there. I want just glue so it will just hold that in place on the back, and I'm going to press this down. And I want to keep down like this. Press that down. And I've got a little bit pulling up right here. I'm going to add a little more glue. I want this to be where it's nice and flat on there. And I just want this to where it's just going to hold it in place. Okay. okay, I'm going to take this and flip it over, and I think on the sides I might add some glue, so I'm going to go over here on this side and add glue, and I'm going to bring that and pull that up and hold it up against that side, that way it'll be nice and flush. I don't know which I'm gonna like better, the black and white or the red and white. I'm already loving the red and white. Y'all, I just love Christmas. I love Christmas crafting. I think it's just so much fun. Okay, adding glue on this side. And y'all, I'm sure there are many places that have these kind of little signs, or if you have one that's just, if you just have a square piece of wood, you can use that as well. And the nice thing about these is they were already painted white, so I did not have to paint them. I thought I had some more, but I guess I don't. Okay, I'm making sure that that's nicely glued to the side. And I'm gonna add a little bit of glue on here on the front. Pressing this down. And I'm gonna, pour, I'm gonna put some glue over here kind of be able to hold this one down. So I'm pressing it down here, making sure before I tie it. And then I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna gently tie myself a knot. And this is going to be darling. So you've got it, and I've got it where that's pretty good, tight, nice knot. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to add glue underneath there so it'll hold this in place. How cute. And then once I know that's good and down there. I am going to trim off these and let me see I want to make sure you're seeing what I'm doing so I think what I'm gonna do is I'm going to trim I think I'll make them about I'm gonna cut off a little bit off here I 
Okay, and then I'm gonna put it in half, and I think I'll do like the V in the center, like this. I'm gonna take my lighter when we're done, and I'm gonna I'm gonna burn the edges of that so it won't fray. And then I'm just gonna go ahead and before I cut it, I'm just gonna go ahead and cut it like this so I can cut once. Okay, I love it. How cute is this? Now, it'd be good just to go ahead and add a little hot glue underneath here to hold these in place where you want them to go. I'm gonna add a little bit of glue. I'm gonna use my scissors and kind of get this kind of pressed down a little bit. And I think I wanna add a little glue over here on the side so it kinda of holds this down a little better. I'm gonna add glue right on the edge. Yeah, I like that. A Little bit of glue right over here on this edge. Use the edge of my scissors and press this down. Make sure my glue isn't sticking out. Cute, okay. And so I'm gonna do the same thing to this one just so it'll kind of hold it in place. I'm gonna kind of bunch it out like this and I'm just going to do the edge. And I'm just going to press that down. So now we have our scarf. How cute. I love that. That's very darling. And I think I'll add a little bit of glue right under here. I hope everybody had a good day today. I was in the office today. It was not a bad day at all. It was a great day. Okay, so there is that. I think I might get some of my greenery out and add it, but let's add the face on. I'm gonna stop for a second after I put the face on and do this other one so you'll be able to see them both. Um, so I got my nose here. I'm wondering if I should have made it a little bit skinnier. Yeah, I kind of like that. And I think I'll do that for the other one. Just kind of just kind of estimate how you want your nose. Okay. So that's I think that's what I'll do with my nose. And let me grab my ink. Okay. So the ink that I'm using, this is the top. I used this one the other day. I liked this one. And I just want to give it a little bit of almost like shadow on the edges. If you wanna draw lines on your carriage, you can do that. Um, I'm not gonna worry about it. all looking good. That's okay. I think I might do some more. I kind of like it. Like that. Looks like a worn carrot. Yeah, I like that. Okay, I'll do the other one in a second. But now I'm going to take out my I'm going to take out my buttons and I'm going to get some smaller ones here for the eyes. And I'll do some, I think the size maybe for the mouth. And they don't all have to match. They can be different. And 
Here's some smaller ones I'll put up here for the eyes. I think I'll do like five. Okay. So I think I'll do it like this. Or should I make them all match? I'm thinking I might should put some um, thread through these and tie it off before I glue those on. I think I'll do that. I'll be back, y'all. Okay, so I have been tying um, some embroidery floss in the middle of my button, and I think that that gives it a it's something cute on there. So um, I've got to add some to this one and these two over here, and also for the other snowman. But I thought I would just show you. Um, I don't know if you're if you're not a seamstress or sewer. If you don't really sew and you don't and you have a hard time seeing how to thread a needle, this is one of the little tiny gadgets I've had in my my craft room for a very long time. My mama used to use these as well because it was hard for her to see the eye of the needle. Now, granted, this needle that I'm using, if I can hold on to it, it's got a fairly good size eye on it, but. I still struggle, and so this is very, very helpful. So if I can get this on the eye there, all you do is you add it over here where this little part is. You put your, I'm using embroidery floss, so you're gonna put your embroidery, embroidery floss over, and I'm just gonna give myself a little slack, and you're gonna hold this like this, and then you're gonna take your needle and just pull it and there you go you don't have to struggle to thread a needle so i'm just going to give myself quite a bit because i need to do my other one so i want to try to do these at, do these at the same time so at least i've already finished these two these are probably the only two like this i will make um so i'm going to give myself plenty i like to keep mine double and I did not part out any of my floss, as you see. It's got a lot of different threads in there. So all I did with this, and let me make sure, I hope that's looking good. All I did with this is I went through the front, and then I went to the back, and just pulled it as far as I could, where I still could control tying a knot, and you're just gonna tie a knot on the edge like this. Tie it twice. And then once you've got that tied on, what I did is I took my scissors and I cut it about like that. See? And there we go. So that kind of kind of fills those holes and so forth. And uh, so I'm going to do the rest of my buttons and then I'm going to go ahead and glue the ribbon onto the other one here. That way I can try to finish these together. And then I'm gonna find myself some greenery because I think greenery would be really nice. So I will be back. Okay, so I finished sewing all my buttons. You can kind of see how I did. And I've already glued these on. I glued on the black ribbon. I like them both, I really, really do. I think they're just darling. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead, I'm putting five buttons down here at the bottom for the smile. And then I'm using these buttons a little bit, they're a little bit larger, I'm using them for the for the eyes. And then in the center, it'll be this the, the carrot or the nose. So I'm just using hot glue. I thought about using wood glue, but I'm just gonna use hot glue because I think it'll work just fine. And I'm going to start with my center button, and then I'm going to work my way out. Very, very cute. The nose would be cute if you want to put it under your sewing machine and stitch the edge. That would be cute, too. Give it a little bit of extra, like, dimension and so forth. God, I'm trying to try to get them, try to get them even. Okay, so 
there's that. That looks pretty good. I'm gonna put the nose in the center. And I, again, I'm just using my hot glue. Again, my glue gun comes from surebonder.com. It's one of my favorite, favorite, favorite glue guns. That's the one I've, I just use the most. Okay, now I'm gonna put my eyes. And I'm gonna try to, this, I'm gonna kind of lift this up so I'll be able to see about where I wanna put this one. If you can find these like little wood signs already painted, it's a time saver for you. If not, you just uh, paint it white. Okay, so there we go. So we got our faces on. Our snowman can see and smile. Okay, I wanna put a little greenery like around the, um, the ribbon area. So I have some of these I pulled out of my stash. I also have my favorites, these. And I think these would be cute, but then um, I kinda like these two. I pulled the, the leaves off. And I kind of just wanted to put like two leaves and glue those on and glue some little berries over it. I kind of want to try, because I'll use those other ones for a lot, but I want it kind of going off like this. And I think that that would be cute. So I'm going to go for it. And of course, I just pulled these off. They were all one piece and I just pulled them off. I'm grab my little thing here. So I don't burn myself. Okay, so there's one. And now I'm going to grab the other one. I'm going to put it kind of going off like this. I'm going to press it down. And it's kind of on the side of the knot. If you wanted to, you could have had it coming out of the knot. That would have been fine too. But I think I'm gonna try it this way. Now these little things, they still have a little wire on them. I'm gonna cut them. I'm just gonna glue myself some on. I'll put like three. We'll see how that looks. Let's see. Got one more. And y'all, you know, I could have used my other things that I was using for centers of my flowers. Okay, let's see. I want to put it. I think I'll put it like that. That'll look good. There we go, we're gonna hold these on really well. Look at that, that looks good, I like those. I like those, okay, let me do the other ones. Okay, so I'm gonna cut some leaves. So I'm just gonna cut my leaves off. Put these on the same way. And grab my little foam finger here. I'll put this like this. This is kind of sticking under, but it's okay. It's going to be covered up anyway. Okay. Let me grab the other one. Okay. Putting my glue. kind of go like this. I like these because they bend. And I'm hoping that my little faux berries here are 
are going to cover it up well. I think they will. Got a lot of glue there, so I'm trying to make sure that it stays. It's not every day I'm doing two of the same project at one time, but I want to try to work on my craft fair and de just decor like this and stuff. I want to be able to knock it out and another one. And look at that, how cute that is. So, so cute. It's got the little jute hanger on here. It's so cute. Okay, so this is how they're looking. I'm absolutely loving it. So I have one last thing that I think I want to do. Um, I went ahead and did it on this one. And I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to take, I have this Distress Oxide. It's spun sugar. And I'm going to give my snowman some cheeks. You know what? We give gingerbread men cheeks. Why can't we give snowmen cheeks? It's our snowman. We can do what we want. So I'm just patting it all around and I just love it. It's just faint, it's not too much. And I think it's simply darling. Make sure I got them kind of, I want it not too much, but just enough. So let's do this side. And I'm pressing real hard when I do this because I want it to to go well on that wood and sorry for the noise here I'll try to hold this down I love it I love I think that really really did so much with this got a little pink on the carrot here so we'll look at that look it did not do so much for it I love it so much I think this one needs a little more very 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 cute Anyway, that is it. I hope you guys have enjoyed this project. These two are going to go in my craft fair this year. Simple little sweet crafts that you can add into your craft fair. Um, I'm going to have to think on the price. Now, probably I got these for probably like $5 a piece. Probably between 3 and 5 at Target. I'm thinking I got these in the one spot or the bullseye spot. Um, and I probably paid, but probably maybe I paid $3 for them. I really don't remember the ribbon. I already had the buttons I went out and purchased, but I only had to use seven on each one. So really I'm not going to allow myself much for that. And the foam was only 50 cents and I only used a corner of it. So really probably cost me a nickel to make the, make those. These I had in my stash as well. I think what I'll probably do is I'll probably sell these for $15 a piece. I think that will be a fair price. They weren't hard to make and they were actually very fun to make. And yeah, so I think that that is what I will do. Um, for right now, I'm going to leave the let it snow on here like this. I might layer it up on some paper and put it off like a little tag. I might change that. But for right now, I think I'll leave it like that. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this. I hope you'll pull out your crafts and your, your supplies and your stash that you have in your closet. And I hope that you will start just creating. And I hope maybe you'll try to create this as well. Anyway, have a great day, y'all. Love you guys. And I'll talk to you in the next one. Bye.